Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to write to a file in UWP. In this case, uh, we're going to talk about how I wrote to a log file. So basically, this is just something that's going to dump all the information that File Snatch does through a, through its processes. So in other words, if you move um, a file from C colon, I don't know, picture.jpg to D colon, picture.jpd it take each time you did something like that and put it all and wrap it up in a file then later on you could see uh, what was done or something got screwed up you can see oh this is what actually happened pretty simple statement so the first part of this that I'm going to highlight is um, something that uh, is not necessary but I just did um, I did everything based off the date and time um, I just create the word log file string uh, and then I parse that the date and time all the way down to the seconds and just attach it to the log file. That's going to be the name of the log file. And then of course I drop a TXT at the end because this is just something that it will be a text file. Now here's where the main work goes. First of all, you're going to use a namespace of windows.storage to do all this stuff. In the old days, you kind of use a stream writer or something like that to bring it all out. It's not that different. And as you can see, it's almost as simple. In my case, what I did was I pre-created an array. So every time I copied that file from C drive to D five, and then the next file from C drive to D drive, then it just took that and put it in an array. Like I move this here, I move the next thing here, I move the next thing here. Um, and each one of those bits is a string in an array. I take it back, it was a dynamic array, so I'm using a list. In essence, it's, it's not a huge difference, but those file sizes can get rather large. In our case, you know, if, I don't know, five million strings isn't, isn't, isn't a game changer, but it can slow you down a little bit. So anyways, once I have that list, what I do is I hold on to it. I'm going to try to put it in this thing called file. So, so I need the storage file, which is from Windows Storage. And then I create uh, a file sync, or excuse me, file async, where I take this log file name, put it here. So I'm going to tell it where to go. And then I'm going to tell it whether to take to replace the old one or not. And, and actually, the modern um, versions of File Snatch, I don't replace the existing. I just let you build up. Because eventually, what I want to do is create a kind of more complex undo statement that I can undo anything that you would have screwed, screwed up. Luckily, with File Snatch, you never actually destroy the files, but they can get bare if you write them to the wrong place. They can be really, really hard to find. Okay, and the next one we are going to um, take that log file, which is the array that I was talking about, or excuse me, the list that I was talking about earlier. And we're going to try to, we're going to just take it and dump it all into the file. And we're going to, and it's going to write it line by line because we're saying write lines async. So that means each element in that dynamic array gets placed into the file. And also notice that you have an await here because you're using all these asyncs, um, including the async at the method level. And then lastly, I just clear everything out because what happens if you run things multiple times? I didn't want to just keep adding to this list. I, I want it to be these succinct log files. Um, so what I do is I just, after this is done writing everything, and this, this line will write everything in that list clear it out we're good to go and of course you always have a little catch just in case something goes wrong and it's all done you don't have to worry about anything else give it a try and good luck hey if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button to our channel this would help us out greatly if you'd like to support us in other ways our app is available for purchase at digitaltumult.com or the microsoft store see the links below we appreciate your support. Thanks.